What's up, YouTube? Kessler's RT here. Gonna be doing an unboxing of a GoPro. Gonna be unboxing a GoPro Hero 5 Black Series. Got it for a little bit off there. Gonna be comparing all the specs of it and doing an unboxing for this one as well. This is just a little cheap knockoff little GoPro. This was 60 bucks. It's 360 bucks. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a video to compare them as well. Uh, but for this one, it's just going to be the unboxing and we'll go over the features that it has as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open the GoPro first. here uh, it's a little mount with its little mounting bracket wonder if it already has a memory card in it or not Let's see what else comes with it you break it we'll replace it not bad it's more Instruction manuals, everybody knows how to use a GoPro. USB cable. 3M GoPro stickies. Two of them. The GoPro battery. I don't know, so it's a 12 meg camera, does 4K video at 30 uh, FPS, water resistant up to 33 feet, does 1080p at 120 frames, apparently you can bark at it, and it's got a touch screen. The GoPro Black 5, it's got a screen in the back, 12 megapixel camera in the front, battery, and a couple of mounts with 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 120 frames per second. So let's move this out of the way and check out the other one. All right, YouTube, now we're on to the little cheap GoPro. It says 4K as well, 30 FPS. Includes the little box, a couple of clips, cord, so this one actually has more details as to what it does than the GoPro. Um, 170 degree ultra wide angle lens, 4K video at 30 FPS, uh, 2.7K at 30 FPS, 1080p at 30 FPS. So the GoPro does it at 120, uh, 720. Uh, is at 120 FPS and 60 FPS uh, MP4 format microphone and speakers are built in uh, again the slow motion at the 720p for 120 FPS and 1080p 60 FPS camera has got a 16 megapixel 12 megapixel 10 megapixel and 5 megapixel resolutions burst photo features uh, time-lapse Micro SD card up to 64 gigs, not included. Power 900 milliamp battery. Uh, two inch onboard LCD screen. Oh, it's got an LCD screen as well. Micro HDMI input that connects to the TV. So let's open it up. Mount. Mount for the steering wheel type. Little strap mount. Little sticky mount. Oh, nice. 
Okay, so see, so you got a little wire one that you can't rip very easily in a couple of zip ties. It's got a little camera as well. This is not that bad. So, I mean, it's it's almost like, aside from the GoPro packaging, like actually being hard metal and stuff and fancy looking, this is not too bad at all. It's got more accessories with it for less money. Um, so, I guess it's going to come down to the quality of it. See, this one opens right up. It does feel really plasticky though. It's got like a plasticky, gimmicky, cheap feel to it. Assuming the battery goes in here. Yep. Very, very light again, very, very plasticky. Feels like it's gonna snap. It's got a little down arrow, a little up arrow. Okay, power button, lens here. Let me take off the little plastic in front of the lens. So first impressions, this seems really nice, really sturdy inside the case. Looks really well packaged, but once you open it and pick it up, it is very light, very plasticky. So here we are checking out the Sunpack 4K. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Let's see how well this comes up. So we got to power it on. So it gets at 4K, no SD card, Wi-Fi capable, battery, a microphone, letting you know it's got a microphone, switch it over to camera mode, does not have a SD card in it, 16 megapixel for the camera mode, 720 FPS on the slow motion, no folder files, and then we come to some options. So press the OK button. It's got your resolution. Go ahead and change the resolution on it. Whatever you want for the video. Time lapse, slow motion. Go over to photo, resolutions, timeouts, or timed, auto, drama shot. Exposure. Ooh, exposure. Does it have long exposure? Oh, I think it's just for lighting, not for. It's got a driving mode, apparently. I'll try that out. And that's all the options on this little guy. I'll power it off. So that's that one. Now let's check out the options on the GoPro. So I'll fire it up. I'll fire this one back up on a computer like a side by side on them. So video looping, video, chance to resolution, there you go, 4K resolution. 60 FPS, 80, a 
to 240 FPS. Ooh, 240 FPS on that resolution? Does it really? Oh, not supported. Not supported. Not supported. So I guess that one only goes up to 60. But let's take a look at the 4K video resolution. change the FPS before I can change it to 4K. There you go. So right off the bat I'm looking at them pretty flat to my face. So that one you can see real well. This one kind of looks like a negative image when you take something L C D and you look at it from the side the coloring changes. That's where the GoPro does not. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but yeah. Also, it seems like the GoPro's got a wider lens and it's not zoomed in as much, so you can see more on this one than on this one. Also, the color looks better on the GoPro but I don't know if that's just because this display screen is really cheap and this one is actually better so it's got wide mode on here and so field of view wide I guess it doesn't have any other options at 4k all right so let's keep messing with the GoPro and look at any other options that it has oh it's got the little front up here Photo. See if we can change the megapixels. So apparently you either can change them. Nope, guess not. And burst. And time lapse. And then back to video. So functionality seemed to be pretty pretty much the same on both uh, this one just feels more sturdy more quality the screen looks like a lot more quality um, but you know I'll do a video just to see exactly how much better it is than the other one and see if it's you know just do an honest review to see if it's really worth the four hundred dollars that this camera costs um, I did get it a little bit cheaper because it was a already open case or whatever, and it was uh, returned, so I only paid 360 for it. Um, so I'll see if you know it's worth the difference. The other one was only uh, 59.99, so it was only 60 bucks. No big deal. Um, but we'll see. Once we put the SD cards in the computer, see what kind of resolution the computer gets out of them, and how good the picture and the sound quality is compared to the GoPro see if it's really worth you know an extra three hundred dollars especially if you know you're just starting up a YouTube channel or you don't have you know all kinds of money to be spending five hundred dollars for a camera um, this might definitely be a good starter uh, for you for sixty bucks it's definitely worth its money so if there's not very much difference between the two as far as quality goes once the video comes out because you know, yeah, it might look nice in here and everything, and this might be a sturdier box. But once you know, I'm editing the video and working on the video, anyways, it's gonna be irrelevant what the hell this looks like when I'm editing. So, um, if there's not much of a difference, I'm probably just gonna end up keeping this one for price sake uh, and end up returning this one. Uh, but if this one is just far superior, I might still just keep this one just to have like a secondary backup uh, to do multiple angles and things like that so we'll see so I will be doing a video in-depth video I'm gonna do don't be doing some recording in the dark see how they record in the dark uh, some recording in the light some recording from outside of the car see what the wind sounds like um, how windy it gets and how good it actually picks up sound 
Uh, gonna probably be doing a cold start in the garage with both of these to hear the difference in the sounds. And I'm gonna have different clips and we're gonna go about rating them. Which one is, which one quality is better? Uh, the GoPro or this Sunpack 4K. So I'm gonna put them to charge now and probably do something with them on the weekend because by the time I go to work it's dark out, by the time I get out of work it's dark out. So got no sunlight to try them on. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. Uh, like always, if you know, subscribe, share, comment. Um, thank you for watching.